Hello, I'm still Claire, a Slough School educator here at the Columbia Slough Watershed Council. And you might recognize this area, you might not. Since it's early summer and it looks a little bit different from when we were out here in the late fall and early winter. Uh, well, we did some plantings here. I am at Wilkes Creek Headwater. And today we'll be talking with Yoko about the plants that we planted and just listening to some nature sounds. So I hope y'all are doing well and let's get into it. Fairview, this is Yoko again. Um, you've met me before. I'm the stewardship coordinator for Portland Parks and Recreation, working in North and Northeast Portland in the Columbia Slough watershed. We're at Wilkes Creek Headwaters Park, which you've all been to before. Um, and I wanted to show you some of your plants. So these little creatures down here, we marked them with a white flag, if you remember planting, finding the colored flags. Um, we've got five snowberries that are doing awesome. We've got one, two, three, four, and five planted in that five side of a die shape um, and these snowberries are doing really great a couple things to remember about snowberries when you planted them they probably didn't really have any leaves on them now they do so snowberry leaves are oppositely attached so they come out like arms but when they're new they get all wiggly they get wild and wiggly when they're baby baby leaves and then as they get older leaves they get kind of rounder and rounder so these leaves are pretty round kind of cool and remember that snowberries in the fall will start forming little white berries that are really important for the birds because there's not a lot of other berries around. Um, so this is one of the only berries that exists in the winter and the fall. And why do we plant them in five? We plant them in five just so that they have kind of a buddy system growing up. It's going to get really hot here this summer. As they get bigger, they'll be able to shade each other. Also so we can come find them, it's easier, and kind of tell like who's surviving, what worked well. Maybe if a few of these die, they'll still be two really big ones, really healthy. So right now they're doing great, but if a couple of them don't make it, then that's okay too, because there was five here. This is another plant that I think that you all planted. This one's called goldenrod. It probably didn't look like a lot when you planted it. Probably it was mostly just soil, maybe had like one stick. But this is a really cool plant. It'll get really, really tall. It'll grow taller than me, taller than like six feet sometimes. And these will all turn into really bright golden flowers in the middle of the summer. So probably in like a month or something, they'll start blooming. Um, really, really awesome pollinator food. So the bees really like it. Um, it's a great plant. Here we have little baby ocean spray, which remember these ocean spray plants will actually get to be about 15 feet tall. They get really, really big, like two times as tall as I am when I'm standing. Um, and you can tell they're really small right now. So one of the things that you all also helped work on is mulching and putting down all these bark chips around the plants that we planted. And if you remember, we do that for two reasons. One, to keep the weeds out so this grass is having a harder time moving in. I can kind of go through and pull some of it. But it's mostly staying away. And then also in the summer when it gets really, really, really hot, this mulch will hold on to the moisture. And if I lift up some of the, the mulch, that ground under there is actually really kind of wet and cool. So it makes a really big difference for helping these plants survive our hot summer months in Portland. This plant is lupin. It has really pretty uh, purplish white flowers. Some of the flowers can be pink, blue, purple, orange, red, white. They come in all different colors. This is one of our lupins that we plant that um, we call riverside lupin. So we plant it where we know it'll get some rain. Um, it's gonna grow really tall. The, the stacks of flowers sometimes can be like this tall. They're super, super pretty and bees love them. Um, I think they're really fun. They're really pretty. They're one of our pollinator flowers, wildflowers that we plant at Wilkes Creek Headwaters. We had, I think up here y'all helped pull a lot of ivy, of the invasive English ivy. Um, so you can see down here there's some bare ground where you pulled some ivy, but we're not done yet because look, it's starting to come back. All these little plants right here is more of the ivy. So whenever you come back to this park, there's still a lot to do, but we made such good progress. So what I'm showing you right here is a Doug fir tree. This light green at the very tips that I'm going to be pointing to in a second is the new growth for the year and that dark green is the old growth. The new growth is a little bit softer while the old growth is a little bit harder and stiffer. So for this section, we're doing some forest bathing. 
we're just gonna sit and listen to the audio and see what we see and listen to what we hear.